Hello, hello. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the things that are challenging, right? Yesterday we spoke about um, overcoming fears, uh, dealing with the things that uh, work really hard that you believe that maybe you can't do um, or you're just scared to death that you can't do. And then there are things that are just put in your lap, right? That you're just like, here it is, do it. Or again, the things that you believe you can't do. I've had those moments in my life. I've got to be really real, right? I'm going to be um, like my first baby. Who knew I was going to be a single woman when I got pregnant, though I should have known from my actions. Scary as heck. And do you believe that God would bless that? I didn't even know God at that time, to be honest. And God did bless that. He took that baby and he brought me so close to him. I didn't know what was happening in my life at that time. I didn't know. I, I had no clue. I just knew, oh my, this is not how it was supposed to happen. And, oh my, what am I going to do? I can't do this alone. Do you have those moments in your life? Do you have them? I've got lots of others like that in my real estate career. I step into someone's house and I pray and I say a little prayer, Lord, let me do exactly what you have for them. And my goal is to align it with what my clients have as well. And there are some that I'm just like, whew, this is, this is a challenging one. And yet, it happens. It happens. Whatever it is, whatever it be, God works through it. It's crazy. I watch him every day work through me in the lives of other people. And I'm so, so blessed by it. And who's more blessed is the person that's experienced it with me and our mighty God above, right? There are so many, many, many moments that you don't understand. Why did this happen to me? I've had other things that have just been really challenging and I say, why? Why? Why did they happen? How do I get through it? Right? How, how, what do I do? Where do I go? And yet, I just have that promise that God gave me. Now that I know, when I was 23 and had my first baby, I didn't know this promise. So I hope this blesses you today. For God's word says, for I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13, for I can do everything. The scripture before that, read it. It says I can be without food. I can be with food. I can be on a full tummy or not. And yet I'll pull through. So are you without nothing right now? Are you struggling in whatever it is that you're struggling with? Everyone's circumstances is different. Everyone deals with what I like to call stress or anxiety in a different way. And yet God handles it exactly the same every single time. He says, believe in me and I will pull you through it. It may not be how you wanted it, and yet he will pull you through it, take you through it, carry you through it, love you through it, hold you closely through it. So don't pull away from him. When things get really tough, Lean really closely to him because he's got you. That's the super cool thing when you've got faith. Is someone's holding you so closely that you just don't know what to do. So go out there, get some faith, grow it today, be bigger in it, forward his kingdom, and be blessed by him. Because I know. I am super blessed by him. And I will continue to share that forward. 
be blessed today. Get out there and bless someone else. Until tomorrow.